Subscribers don't matter in 2023, consumption matters. And then of course, you don't get paid for subscribers. You get paid for views. When you click on something and it retains your attention, YouTube goes, I wanna serve them more stuff that will hold their attention. In 2010, subscribers were king. In 2023, consumption is king. Some insiders DM me recently about YouTube's agenda for podcasts. Like it's just gonna be a big deal. And so I think it is one of the biggest underrated strategies and opportunities for people listening to this right now. Your first video is not gonna give views, period. It's not, your first 10 are not gonna give views. I can very confidently say that. All you need to do, this applies to people who have dreams of being a YouTuber, is make 100 videos and improve something every time. Do that. And then on your 101st video, we'll start talking. My first 500 videos didn't deserve to get a million views. Like there's a reason they did, they are terrible. But at the time I thought they did. I'm in the mindset of a lot of small YouTubers where I thought those videos deserved a million views and I thought the algorithm hated me. But I watch them back now and I can tell you exactly why. The videos are just horrible. What's the root word of confidence? Huh? Confide, right, is the root word. And what does confide mean? Someone's trust, right? And so confidence isn't this like Kanye West ego thing, right? And it's not bravado, it's trust. At the root of confidence means trust. Do you trust yourself? Do you trust what you're building? Do you trust your numbers? Do you trust your impact? Can you trust your process to sales and profitability? The root word of confidence, right? And confidence attracts the resources and the people that you need because people like it's literally a magnetic force it's just like everything is centered around your mindset like i cannot stress that enough and i think we gloss over that because we think it must be this bigger harder thing right the other part of that is having confidence in what you're building and know that you have something that you could of value that you can leverage that value i mean when you really boil it down to the people who are watching just think about it like what what do you think youtube wants like to me, I think YouTube just wants people to click on a video and watch it, right? I mean, that's how they get their ad revenue. That's how they keep, vi you know, viewers happy and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure comments like stuff like that. But at the end of the day, they want you to click, watch a video, click, watch a video, and just do that as long as possible. So to me, what's important is click through rate, getting people to click on your video, and then average view duration, average view percentage, or just relative retention, and you know, having them watch it. If people are clicking your video more than they click other videos, and they're watching it longer than they watch other videos, you know, I just, as simplistic as that is, that's like what YouTube wants, and I think that's how you just, you know, be successful. Research has shown that almost all viral videos have something in common. They elicit an emotional response. Joy, fear, laughter, outrage, it doesn't even matter if the emotion is positive or negative. What matters is the content makes you feel something. We are significantly more inclined to share things that have an emotional impact on us. A great example is this channel that went insanely viral, racking up millions of subscribers, and yet the only thing that differentiates it from the countless other similar channels is it was shared with this message. His father left when he was 12. Now he has a YouTube channel called Dad How Do I to help kids who are growing up without dads, teaching them basic tasks that you usually ask your dad for help on. That emotional connection behind it made all the difference. So the question you should be asking when making your videos is how do you want your audience to feel? Hello guys, you are welcome to today. Today is, um... yeah. Today is Thursday. Every Thursday, normally we look at talents. Which of the talents do you intend to showcase the world today? What talents do you want to show the world today? I'm into real estate. I have talent for sales. I have talent for marketing. I have talent for motivating people. Whatever talent that God has given to you, I would encourage you to go into the marketplace and work with that talent. Trade that talent today. Let your talent produce foods that others can feed from. Don't hide your talent in your office. Don't hide your talent at home. Go out and make your talent work for you. My names are Ekato Christian Osaze. God bless you. Whatever does not count that time, it never count again. Praise God. So uh, you need to understand this because it will help you a lot. Numbers chapter 4. From 30 years old and upward, even unto 50 years old, 
shall thou number them everyone that entered into the service to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregations and that's repeated again and again and again that's when your locating where you belong has its full proof praise God your planting season is 20 to 30 core planting season now replanting and harvesting 30 to 50 but any